we have to perform the indicated operation. We have 7 square root 50x minus 8 square root 18x. We need to begin by simplifying these square roots. To help us do this, let's determine the prime factorization of 50 and the prime factorization of 18. 50 is equal to 2 times 25, 2 is prime, and 25 is equal to 5 times 5, and 5 is prime. 18 is equal to 2 times 9, 2 is prime, and 9 is equal to 3 times 3, which is prime. Let's write the expression as 7 square root, let's write 50x as 2 times 5 times 5 times x, minus 8 times the square root, let's write 18x as 2 times 3 times 3 times x. And now circle the perfect square factors under these square roots. Well, 5 times 5 over 5 squared is a perfect square factor here, and 3 times 3 or 3 squared is a perfect square factor here. Notice how both square roots will simplify. To emphasize this, let's write these square roots as a product of square roots, where the first square root only contains the perfect square factors. Let's write this as 7 times the square root of 5 times 5 times the square root of 2 times x. And then we have minus 8 times the square root of 3 times 3 times the square root of 2 times x. From here, we know the square root of 5 times 5 or 5 squared simplifies to a factor of 5 here, which gives us 7 times 5 times the square root of 2x. And then we have minus 8, and the square root of 3 times 3 or 3 squared simplifies to 1 factor of 3. So we have 8 times 3 times the square root of 2x. 7 times 5 is 35, giving us 35 square root 2x. Then we have minus 8 times 3 is 24, giving us minus 24 square root 2x. Notice how these square roots are exactly the same, and therefore we have like radicals, and we can subtract. Because 35 minus 24 is 11, 35 square root 2x minus 24 square root 2x is equal to 11 square root 2x. This is the simplified difference. I hope you found this helpful.